British Sign Language BSL, is a sign language used in the United Kingdom, UK, and is the first or preferred language of some deaf people in the UK. There are 125,000 deaf adults in the UK who use BSL, plus an estimated 20,000 children. In 2011, 15,000 people, living in England and Wales, reported themselves using BSL as their main language. The language makes use of space and involves movement of the hands, body, face and head. Many thousands of people who are not deaf also use BSL, as hearing relatives of deaf people, sign language interpreters or as a result of other contact with the British deaf community. History History records the existence of a sign language within deaf communities in England as far back as 1570. British Sign Language has evolved, as all languages do, from these origins by modification, invention and importation. Thomas Braidwood, an Edinburgh teacher, founded Braidwood's Academy for the Deaf and Dumb in 1760 which is recognized as the first school for the deaf in Britain. His pupils were the sons of the well-to-do. His early use of a form of sign language, the combined system, was the first codification of what was to become British Sign Language. Joseph Watson was trained as a teacher of the deaf under Thomas Braidwood and he eventually left in 1792 to become the headmaster of the first public school for the deaf in Britain, the London Asylum for the Deaf and Dumb in Bermondsey. In 1815, an American Protestant minister, Thomas Hopkins Gallaudet, traveled to Europe to research teaching of the deaf. He was rebuffed by both the Braidwood schools who refused to teach him their methods. Gallaudet then traveled to Paris and learned the educational methods of the French Royal Institution for the Deaf, a combination of Old French Sign Language and the signs developed by Abbé de Lepe. As a consequence American Sign Language today has a 60% similarity to modern French Sign Language and is almost unintelligible to users of British Sign Language. Until the 1940s sign language skills were passed on unofficially between deaf people often living in residential institutions. Signing was actively discouraged in schools by punishment and the emphasis in education was on forcing deaf children to learn to lip read and finger spell. From the 1970s there has been an increasing tolerance and instruction in BSL in schools. The language continues to evolve as older signs such as OMS and pawnbroker have fallen out of use and new signs such as internet and laser have been coined. The evolution of the language and its changing level of acceptance means that older users tend to rely on finger spelling while younger ones make use of a wider range of signs. On the 18th of March 2003, the UK government formally recognized that BSL is a language in its own right. Linguistics. Phonology. Like many other sign languages, BSL phonology is defined by elements such as handshape, orientation, location, movement, and non-manual features. Grammar BSL uses a topic comment structure. Canonical word order outside of topic comment structure is OSV, and noun phrases are head initial. Relationships with other sign languages Although the United Kingdom and the United States share English as the predominant oral language, British Sign Language is quite distinct from American Sign Language ASL, having only 31% signs identical, or 44% cognate. ESL is also distinct from Irish Sign Language ISL, ISG in the ISO system, which is more closely related to French Sign Language LSF, and ASL. It is also distinct from signed English, a manually coded method expressed to represent the English language. The sign languages used in Australia and New Zealand, Auslan and New Zealand Sign Language, respectively, evolved largely from 19th century BSL, and all retain the same manual alphabet and grammar and possess similar lexicons. These three languages may technically be considered dialects of a single language BANZSL, due to their use of the same grammar and manual alphabet and the high degree of lexical sharing overlap of signs. The term BANZSL was coined by Trevor Johnston and Adam Shembury. In Australia deaf schools were established by educated deaf people from London, Edinburgh and Dublin. 
This introduced the London and Edinburgh dialects of BSL to Melbourne and Sydney respectively and Irish Sign Language to Sydney in Roman Catholic schools for the deaf. The language contact post-secondary education between Australian ISL users and Australian BSL users accounts for some of the dialectal differences we see between modern BSL and Auslan. Tertiary education in the U.S. for some deaf Australian adults also accounts for some ASL borrowings found in modern Auslan. Auslan, BSL and NZSL have 82% of signs identical, using concepts from a Swadesh list. When considering similar or related signs as well as identical, they are 98% cognate. Further information will be available after the completion of the BSL corpus is completed and allows for comparison with the Auslan corpus and the sociolinguistic variation in New Zealand Sign Language Project. There continues to be language contact between BSL, Auslan and NZSL through migration, deaf people and interpreters, the media, television programs such as See Here, Switch, Rush and Signpost are often recorded and shared informally in all three countries, and conferences the World Federation of the Deaf Conference, WFD, in Brisbane 1999 saw many British deaf people traveling to Australia. Makaton, a communication system for people with cognitive impairments or other communication difficulties, was originally developed with signs borrowed from British Sign Language. The sign language used in Sri Lanka is also closely related to BSL despite the oral language not being English, demonstrating the distance between sign languages and spoken ones. BSL users campaigned to have BSL recognized on an official level. BSL was recognized as a language in its own right by the UK government on 18 March 2003, but it has no legal protection. There is, however, legislation requiring the provision of interpreters such as the Police and Criminal Evidence Act 1984. Usage BSL has many regional dialects. Signs used in Scotland, for example, may not be used, and may not be understood immediately by those in southern England, and vice versa. Some signs are even more local, occurring only in certain towns or cities, such as the Manchester system of number signs. Likewise, some may go in or out of fashion, or evolve over time, just as terms in oral languages do. Families may have signs unique to them to accommodate for certain situations or to describe an object that may otherwise require fingerspelling. Many British television channels broadcast programs with Envision signing, using BSL, as well as specially made programs aimed mainly at deaf people such as the BBC. SC Here and Channel 4. SVTV. BBC News broadcasts Envision signing at 7 o'clock to 7.45, 8 o'clock to 8.20 and 1300 to 13.45 Greenwich Mean Time, BST each weekday. BBC Two also broadcasts Envision signed repeats of the channel's primetime programs between 0 00.00 and 2 o'clock each weekday. All BBC channels, excluding BBC One, BBC Alba and BBC Parliament, provide Envision signing for some of their programs. BSL is used in some educational establishments, but is not always the policy for deaf children in some local authority areas. The Let's Sign BSL and fingerspelling graphics are being developed for use in education by deaf educators and tutors and include many of the regional signs referred to above. Number of BSL users In 2016 the British Deaf Association says that, based on official statistics, it believes there are 151,000 people who use BSL in the UK, and 87,000 of these are deaf. This figure does not include professional BSL users, interpreters, translators, etc. unless they use BSL at home. Learning British Sign Language British Sign Language can be learned throughout the UK and three examination systems exist. Courses are provided by community colleges, local centres for deaf people and private organisations. Most tutors are native users of sign language and hold a relevant teaching qualification. Signature is an awarding body accredited by the Qualifications and Curriculum Authority QCA, who provide the following qualifications. Level 1 Award Elementary 
Level 2 Certificate, Intermediate Level 3 Certificate, Intermediate Level 4 Certificate, Intermediate Level 6 NVQ, Advanced IBSL also award language qualifications, a level 1 award and level 2, 3, 4 and 6 certificates. In Scotland, there is a Scottish Qualifications Authority SQA system for students learning British Sign Language. Currently there are five levels in the SQA system, continuing assessments. SQA, Introduction to British Sign Language SQA, British Sign Language Level 1 SQA, British Sign Language Level 2 SQA, British Sign Language Level 3 SQA, Professional Development Award in British Sign Language Studies The British Deaf Association formed the British Sign Language Academy in about 2008 to provide an official British Sign Language curriculum and tutor training. However this is no longer in operation. Becoming a BSL, English Interpreter There are two qualification routes, via postgraduate studies, or via national vocational qualifications. Deaf studies undergraduate courses with specific streams for sign language interpreting exist at several British universities. Postgraduate level interpreting diplomas are also on offer from universities and one private company. Course entry requirements vary from no previous knowledge of BSL to NVQ Level 6 BSL, or equivalent. The alternative to university studies are either NVQ language and interpreting courses on offer from Signature or IBSL language qualifications followed by an interpreting qualification which is mapped against the CILT National Occupational Standards for Interpreting. The qualification process allows interpreters to register with the National Registers of Communication Professionals with Deaf and Deafblind People NRCPD, a voluntary regulator. Registrants are asked to self-certify that they have both cleared a DBS disclosure and barring service check and are covered by professional indemnity insurance. Completing a Level 3 BSL language assessment and enrolling on an approved interpreting course allows applications to register as a TSLI trainee sign language interpreter. After completing an approved interpreting course, trainees can then apply to achieve RSLI registered sign language interpreter status. RSLIs are currently required by NRCPD to log continuous professional development activities. Post-qualification, specialist training is still considered necessary to work in specific critical domains. Both the Association of Sign Language Interpreters and Visual Language Professionals provide a network of regional groups, professional development opportunities and mentoring. These membership organizations represent the sign language interpreting profession in England, Wales and Northern Ireland and provide interpreters with professional indemnity insurance. Communication Support Workers Communication Support Workers CSWs, are professionals who support the communication of deaf students in education at all ages, and deaf people in many areas of work, using British Sign Language and other communication methods such as sign-supported English. The Association of Deaf Education Professionals and Trainees ADEPT, is a national association, formed from a merger of ACSW and NATED in 2014, that supports and represents the interests and views of CSWs, encourages good practice and aims to improve the training standards and opportunities for current and future CSWs, among other things. The association provides a professional network, improving information exchange, professional standards and support. The qualifications and experience of CSWs varies, some are fully qualified interpreters, others are not. There is a Level 3 Certificate in Communication Support for Deaf Learners available from Signature. This qualification is modeled on standards for learning support in further education only and is not required by all employers. Let Sign Shine let Sign Shine is a campaign started by Norfolk teenager Jade Chapman to raise the awareness of British Sign Language BSL, and attract signatures for a petition for BSL to be taught in schools. The campaign's petition to the Parliament of the United Kingdom has attracted support from over 4,000 people. 
Let Sign Shine campaigner Chapman was nominated for the Bernard Matthews Youth Award 2014 for her work and devotion to raising awareness of the importance of sign language. Chapman won the Education Award category and was presented with an award by Olympic swimmer Rebecca Adlington. Let Sign Shine campaigner Chapman was also awarded an Outstanding Achievement Award from the Radio Norwich 99.9 .9 Local Hero Awards on 7 October 2015. The award ceremony featured a performance by Alicia Dixon, having been donated £1,000 from the Bernard Matthews Youth Award. Let Sign Shine used this to start a British Sign Language course at Durham Nethered High School. See also Languages in the United Kingdom References External links British Deaf Association Sign Language Resource Signature, the trading name for CACDP, the Council for the Advancement of Communication with Deaf People. Edinburgh BSL Group BSL Sign Language Dictionary BSL Signbank Deaf Pub Archived from the original on 19 July 2013. Let Sign Shine website BSL Online Dictionary British Sign Language Discussion Forum